guys uh, the purpose of this uh, video is just to go over the problems for uh, pages 54 through 56 uh, we already had done 1 through I believe 1 through 10 so we're gonna move I'm gonna explain the problems 11 through 25 again these problems are focusing on how you can estimate sums okay so let's go ahead and get started with number 11 real quick and number 11 you go ahead and round both numbers to the tens place. Because of that 9, the 7 goes up to an 8. And because of that 2, that 3 goes to, stays the same to a 3. You find the sum of both numbers and the sum is 110. Okay, let's move on to number 12. Find the difference between both numbers, but we got to estimate them first. So, we're going to round off to the hundreds place because both numbers go to the hundreds place. Because of the 8, the 7 still goes up to an 8. And because of the 7, the 5 goes up to a 6. Find the difference between both numbers, and that gives you 200. Okay, let's go on to number 3. Same thing, now we'll find the sum. Let's go ahead and estimate and put the numbers all the way to the hundreds place. Because of the 3, the 8 stays the same. And over here in your second number, because of that 8, uh, the 4 goes up to 5. So your sum for both numbers ends up being 1,000. 300 all right let's go on to number four and remember when you have the both numbers have the same number of digits or places in it you always round up to the highest place value right so in this case this number uh, goes all the way to the hundred thousand so you look at the ten thousands place the number before to help it help you to round up or if the number stays the same because of that eight the three goes up to four so you got four hundred thousand and then because of that 3, the 2 stays the same, and it stays at 200,000. Find the difference, and you get 200,000, if you do your math correctly. Okay, then we move on. We go on to number 15, and we have uh, numbers with decimals. So remember here, we round off to the nearest whole number, which in this case ends up being the 1's place. So the 10's place determine if the 1's go up or stay the same. Circle your 10's places. Because of that 9, the 2 goes up to a 3. And because of that 9, the 3 goes up to a 4. Remember, you're finding the sum, you're adding them. So the sum would be 7. Alright. Let's go on to number 16. Again, now notice this one has a different number of digits in the number. So this, in this case, we're going to round up. And also another big hint that we're going to round to the nearest whole numbers because we're working with money. Okay. So... Uh, we're going to round to the nearest whole number, which is again the ones place. So we circle the tenth place, point to the ones. And because of that nine, what happens to the $12? Well, it goes up to $13. Right? What happens to the $3 because of that nine? Well, it goes up to $4. And now all you have to do is find the difference, which is $9. All right? And make sure you align your numbers carefully. All right, let's move on. On number 17, we have three digits. Easy. We're going to round up to the nearest whole number again. Give me a second. So we were on number 7. We're going to round up to the nearest whole number. Because of that 1, the 8 stay, uh, stays the same. Because of that 7, the 3 goes up to 4. And because of that 9, that 7 goes up to 8. You're going to find the sum. And of course, hopefully by now you know that you're supposed to be adding two numbers at a time. So 8 plus 4 is 12 and 12 plus 8 is 20. So there's your sum. Or at least your estimated sum, right? And number 18 is the same thing. We're going to round off to the nearest whole number which ends up being the ones place, we're going to use a tens place to round. Because of that 8, the 3 goes up to a 4. Because of that 1, the 4 stays the same. And because of that 3, the 3 stays the same. Find the sum. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 3 more equals 11. So there's your estimated sum, 11. Okay, we're going to go to number 19. Uh, we're going to... 
Here's number 19. It says a cost of one DVD is $16.98 and the cost of another DVD is $9.28. It estimated the cost of the two DVDs to be about $27. Is this estimate higher or lower than the actual cost? Well, well first we got to figure out the actual cost. So we're going to do that. We're going to get $16.98 and $9.29 for the other set of DVDs. Find the sum real quick. 9 plus 8, or 8 plus 9 is 17. Carry the 1. 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 1 more is 12. Carry the 1. Don't forget to bring down your decimal. 6 plus 9 is 15, plus 1 more is 16. Carry the 1. And then 1 plus 1 equals 2. That is your actual sum. Compare that to 27, which is what they were said. Is it higher or lower? Well, the estimated sum is higher than the actual. And there's your answer. All right. Number 20. The uh, uh, What you have to do is estimate those numbers. And then, of course, um, that would be it. But you're going to estimate up to the nearest whole number again because they have decimals. So because of that 0, the 74 stays the same. Because of that 4, that 45 stays the same. And let me go ahead and move that. I'm going to have to move this a little bit to the side. So because of that 7, the 9 goes up to 10. So your estimated numbers ends up being letter C. That is your answer. All right, we go on to number 23. I'm sorry, number 21. And it says, Amy has a large farm with a stable of horses. Her horses eat 30 bells of hay each week. How many weeks will it take for horses to eat? 360. Well, again, 360 is your total. So that means, and then since you're having the horses eat the same amount each week, that means that we're working with a division problem. So you're going to get, remember, you're going to get that's 30 for one week. You're going to get another 30 for another week, and so on and so forth until you get to a total of... 360. So that means that you're going to have to divide 360 by 30. If you do your division correctly, you can, you probably are going to end up getting 12, right? An easy way of doing this is by simply first getting rid of those extra zeros, and then you end up being having 36 divided by 3. 3 times what gives you 36? Hopefully you know your multiplication facts, and that is 12, right? 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 1 is 3. So how many weeks will it take for the horses to finish up 30 bales of hay, 360 bales of hay? It's going to take them 12 weeks. All right, uh, let's move on. Number 21. I'm sorry, number 22. It says, uh, Javier bought two books that cost a total of $18.60. He paid for them with a $20 bill. The cashier gave him two $1 bills and four dimes as change. Was it correct? Well, first, let's figure out what two dollar bills are. Two one dollar bills is that that's two dollars, right? For the two one dollar bills, and then of course you've got four dimes, which is four times ten cents, and that should be equal to forty cents, right? So in reality, he got back two dollars and forty cents back as change. Remember, he had twenty dollars. That's his total. He paid $18.60 for those items, right? Find the difference. 0 minus 6, you can. Borrow from the 2. 2 turns into a 1. 0 turns into a 9. And the 0 into a 10. 10 minus 6 equals 4. Bring your decimal down. 9 minus 8 equals 1. So therefore, this change should be $1.40, right? So the answer is, no, the amount is not correct. Because... Um, you know, his actual change should have been a dollar forty, and the cashier gave him two dollars and forty cents. That's not right. He gave him a dollar extra. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Number twenty-three. Uh, I, I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to tell you that the answer here, the estimated answer, is about two hundred. If you need any help, just ask. That's about 200 acres. And uh, um, the, for number 24, real quick, the answer is, 
It says a teacher is organizing a field trip. Each bus can seat up to 46 people. Is it better to estimate higher or lower than the actual number of people going on the field trip? Well, since you want them, all of them to go, you want to estimate higher, you know, to make sure that there are enough seats for everyone. So in this case, you've got to estimate a little bit higher, right? Because if you estimate lower, you may end up not being able to take everyone on the bus trip of 46 people. Number 25 says Humberto buys a game for $7.89 and some batteries for $5.49. He pays with a $20 bill. Estimate how much change he should get to the nearest dime. Okay, well, in this case, since they want us to round to the nearest dime, that means that they're asking us to estimate to the nearest tenth, right? So, therefore, if we are going to do that, that means that we're going to have to round $7.89 to, uh, to the... Uh, tenths. So because of that nine, the eight goes up. So that's seven dollars and ninety cents. And then of course the batteries were five dollars and forty nine cents. If we round off to the tenth place, remember we're rounding to the uh, nearest time. So that's a tenth. All right. So because of that nine, that four is going to go up. So your numbers rounded to five dollars and fifty cents. Okay. Okay. So find the sum of those two numbers. That's um. 0, 9 plus 5 is 14, carry the 1, don't forget to bring your decimal down, 5, 7 plus 5 is 12, plus 1 more is $13, that's how much he paid, uh, and then of course he, I'm sorry, that's how much the game and the batteries cost, he's going to pay for that with a $20 bill, so we got a total $20 minus the $13.40 that the battery and the game cost, find the difference and this should tell you about how much you're going to have to pay to the nearest time okay you can't subtract zero minus zero zero minus four you can't so you borrow from the zero you can't from there so you borrow from the two two turns into a one a zero into a ten you still have to borrow from that ten so a ten turns into a nine and a zero into a ten so ten minus uh four is six bring down your decimal nine minus three is six so you're gonna end up or he should get about six dollars and sixty cents as change all right go ahead and make sure that you go through this video uh okay if you have any questions just let me know bye